This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries, Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 20, The Game Design Process, Part 8. Let's see. I wonder what our code is going to do. Oh yes, this is what we've already designed. Oh, there's a spawned ladybug right up there. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to reset that. Moving the enemies. It's time to get to start writing the code that will move your enemy, your sprites. To begin, you'll need to get your enemy sprites to random positions and move across the screen. Do this. At the top of your program, after you create each enemy sprite, write the code that will move it to the correct position and give it the correct velocity. Use sprite x to set the, the position to the x position to zero. Use sprite y to set the y position should, uh, should be a random number between 150 and 250, okay? Use sprite.x velocity to set the x velocity to 2. Test your program. Your enemy sprite should now be moving across the screen. All right, so all of this for our enemies. So 0, random, 150, 250, and 2. Got it. So after our enemies... Okay, just checking. All right, so... We have our sprites, sprite.x, sprite.y, sprite.x velocity, sprite.x, sprite.y, sprite.x velocity, and then this is going to be enemy 1, and x was going to be 0, enemy 1, and y, oh yeah, we wanted y to be a random number, boop. And then I'm going to grab this for down here too. Between 150 and 250. And then we would need this to be enemy 1. And the velocity was 2. Uh, 0 for enemy 2x. 150 to 250. So the random number will fall between 150 and 250, enemy 2, uh, same speed. Let's test it out. Nope, and we can't move yet, but hey, the enemies are going across the screen. Reset, and again. Oh yeah, and they are randomized for the Y. Great, let's keep going. Well, real quick actually... Here's the code I added. Right down here was what I did. Okay. Enemy one. Uh, uh, right here. X, Y velocity, X, Y velocity. Okay, onward.